Say, you know those routines? Sure, I do. All right, get out of that backdrop. Let's see them. Right. Right. Let's go. Right and right. Come on, hold the gang's own kids. Let's have that. So let's, let's have beer. Let's give the grand old cheer. So don't marry when the gang's all here. Mm, I hope so. If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where Harlem sits? Putting on the hips. May I come in? Gaston, please. No newspapers, no scandal. Madame, will you do me the honor? Give me the infinite joy of bestowing on me Gigi's hand in marriage. Thank you. For little girls, for little girls, get bigger every day. Thank heaven for little girls. We start knowledge is not we should be taught. First lesson right now. You'll love it and how you love it. Here is the drag. See how it goes. Manzel, I assure you, I heard every word. Let me convince you. I started falling the moment that I saw you. Believe me, I adore you, Sherry. <laughs> this is no time for levity. We've got everything we need right here. Say, that's not a bad idea. We could put on our own show. That'd be different. No, that's Why, it looks as if you'll need a whole city block. No, yeah. And sure, that's it. Right in the neighborhood, we'll open all the Brings a tear to the eye. Well, what do you think of it? What does levity mean? Yes, the temptation has been for the movie industry to go over to more and more blatantly commercial films. But there's one cinema in the north where you won't be able to see films like Octopussy or The Return of the Jedi. The Tyneside Cinema Newcastle has been afraid to go against that trend, and they've now received national recognition. In London today, the British Film Institute presented the cinema with a major award. Nick Owen now reports. The Tyneside Cinema's in the film business. And this is how it sees itself, in a new promotion film made to mark the receipt of the British Film Institute's special award. That's a coveted prize, given this year, the BFI says, because of the vitality of the cinema's contribution to film education and exhibition. The cinema began life in the 1930s as a news theatre. 
It's been in its present independent guise since 1976. Sheila Whitaker's the present director, and undoubtedly it's her work that's really got the place the special award. There are two auditoriums with seating for 650 people. Curiously enough, that's just about the same as the total number of films the cinema shows every year. And those films range very wide, appealing mostly, it must be said, to film buffs. Sheila, tell me, what does the special award from the BFI mean for the Tyneside Cinema? Well, it's described as um, an award for a contribution to film and television in this country. A significant contribution is the exact phrase, um, which is really rather nice, because it's nice to think that people do think we're making a significant contribution. And how would you describe the sort of fare you offer your customers? Well, the fare is extremely broad, that's the point. Uh, we're not in the business of making a lot of money in the sense that the circuits are, which means that you just show a certain kind of film. So the kind of film they're showing is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a great deal of cinema going on, filmmaking going on beneath all that. And therefore, we're showing anything and everything. And some of the films, of course, at the moment, don't have very large audiences, but then that doesn't mean to say they shouldn't be shown. But the Tyneside Cinema definitely isn't just a place to see films. This is the information centre with books and microfilm files on all aspects of the film industry, as well as back numbers of British and American film periodicals. It all helps make the Tyneside Cinema the only film centre of its type between London and Edinburgh. Now, you're right across the road from a large commercial cinema of the usual type. Yes. Is that uh, good for you or bad for you, do you think? Well, it does sort of create a sort of film centre of Newcastle. And the thing about Newcastle is that a lot of people do go to the cinema. And it's not a bad thing, because it doesn't really matter whether they, one night they go there or one night they come to us. The thing is that people are going to watch films and engaging with films. So, I, no, that's, that's no problem at all. Sometimes we have so many people that they can't get in, so they go, go across the road. And vice versa, you hope? Occasionally vice versa, yes.